Jan, your pudgy picker, at my desk. I have another beautiful haul. Lots of things that people cannot live without for any length of time. <laughs> so I got a little bit of fabric. I got some clothes. I got some craft kits. I got a couple of roosters. And some cards that I looked up, interestingly enough. But uh, let's get started with what's in my lap. I always do that. So I think I picked out like one thing for me. I was very intrigued. <laughs> so this first item is a dress. It was $7.49, so it was half. So $3.75, it's a 3X, and it's an apartment nine. So it is this sleeveless knit stretch dress. Very stretchy, and it's one of those uh, stamp dresses. You know what I mean? So they lay it out and stamp it, and then it's got these white spots on it. And this real pretty little uh, spot there. Isn't that cute? So I thought that was adorable. So I sell my clothes on uh, eBay. Uh, I do have a link down in my description box. So follow the instructions. You can get over to my store. Just look around if you're interested. Um, $5.29 uh, was what I paid. Well, half. So what, 250, 265 Avenue, 22, 24. It's kind of a thin uh, top, uh, three quarter sleeves, uh, and the sheer on the bottom. This is cute, but I don't know if it's gonna fit me. It is a Terra and Sky, which is a Walmart brand. Good thing about selling uh, some clothes like that is people know what size they wear, so you have less chance of returns. I mean, that's my way of thinking. There's certain brands I know exactly what size I wear, so if I order or if I buy something off eBay, I'm not too worried, because I've worn it before, so I know what it's like. This is a size 2X. This was only $1.50, so it was $2.99 and then it was half. So this raglan sleeves, three quarters, with a little bit of a, you know, a little stretchy uh, gather there. But that's what that looks like. I kind of like this one. I might try it on. This is the one I was intrigued by. And I stood there for a little while and I'm like, just buy the dumb thing. If you don't like it, you can sell it. <laughs> so this top was, I think, three three ninety nine. So it was $2. It is a Sonoma, which I think is, what, Kohl's? This says it is a 5X. This is not a 5X. But uh, here's what it looks like. Now, it's, it's yeah, it is kind of big. I don't think this is going to work for me. But it is a sweatshirt with short sleeves. Isn't that cool? And it's this real pretty purple tie-dye. So I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, that's going to be too big. Oh, somebody's going to love it. Um, a second dress that I found. This one was... 749, 350, 360, 370. And it is a woman within, what size is it? I think it's a, let's say it's a 4X. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty long, actually. And it's kind of this, like almost like a crinkle cotton short sleeve, but it's got a really pretty floral pattern on it. I got two pieces of fabric. These are the same price, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think this one was $2.49 and the other one was. So this is probably about four yards of just basic pink cotton. And then this one, um, it's this flowery one, but I'll show you the right side of it. Let me look if I can get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. You know that the right printed side is going to be much prettier. Good gracious. I'm just like, there we go. So there's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So you got some green in the back and then pink and blue. And there's at least a good four yards there, I'm thinking. Um, I also, I put this on the ground because it's messy. Ugh. But it looks like somebody's handmade birdhouse. This one was only $5.99, so I paid, what, $3. Sounds like there's a nut rolling around in there, but there's what it looks like. So I thought that'll be nice. Somebody will love to either hang that up and use it or paint it or do something with it. Um, you know a trend is starting to kind of go on the decline when you start finding it at the thrift store. It's happened with everything that has ever been a trend. 
from Beanie Babies to uh, Redneck Wine Glasses, uh, Ray Dunn, and now Pioneer Woman. <laughs> Even though this stuff is, you know, sold at, at uh, I almost said Kmart, Walmart, people are still like dying for it. And I know Anne, hi Anne. Um, she, uh, she, I know her, she had some and they were selling really high. So I, when I saw this piece, I thought, that's what it looks like. Picked it up. That's what it is. And I don't know exactly what this is for, but it's this little box. It's got a little place uh, for you to write on. But, you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's Pioneer Woman. So that's what it says on the bottom. And how much did I pay for this? It was $2.99, so I paid $1.50. So why not? Um, I... You know, for something like that, I wouldn't have think of looking it up on eBay, but I might just do that just in case they're going for higher on there, but uh, it'll be a lot lower if I just stick it in my booth, probably. Um, I was in line, taking my hangers off, and I got distracted. They called me up to the line, so at the last minute, I threw a battery in this clock. <laughs> I was like, making sure it worked. This has a Big Lots $15 on it originally. $3.99 I paid two and it's this very cool bike I'm gonna have to bend that hopefully without busting it and it's a uh, one of those uh, I don't know what do you call it like the big wheel old-fashioned bicycles so yeah I put the battery in there and it was clicky clocking along so that'll be nice I have a lot that hang on the wall not many people sell uh, wall clocks in my booth or in my mall so I always do really well on them. And something kind of a novelty item like this should do really well. So again, I will mess with that later so I don't bust that off while I'm on camera. <laughs> I would do it too. Um, let's see, I uh, found a candle. I don't think this is a Bath and Body Work. Chesapeake Bay, maybe that's a Kohl's thing too. This is With Love, $5.99, so I paid three. Never burn, and it smells like fresh laundry. Hey, any time I could smell laundry and I don't have to wash it is a good time. Um, I did find some roosters today. Sadly, there was a uh, rooster set. It was the, the male and the female, because you could tell the way they were made. And one had a $2.99 sticker, the other one had nothing. And I asked the lady, I'm like, this one doesn't have a price. Are they supposed to be a set? She said no, and we can't sell them. So those were Old Earth. I think those said Japan on them. But I did find these two. They're older. Not real old. But these were $4.99 each. So let me get the other one. The, I don't know. They're not really a set. They're kind of just like the same thing. They're just mirror images of each other. So I do still sell chickens. They do pretty good. Um, I think they were both $4.99. So $5 for the two of them. So that was a good price. I'm still selling them. Again, that's another decorating trend that kind of had a height, and now I don't know what's going on with them. This is kind of cool, too. Um, this was only $1.50, and it's this metal uh, where you hang your keys. But it's metal, and then this part, and then this part is wood. Isn't that cool? I've never seen anything like that before. I thought that was pretty nifty. So interesting. So this will go into my booth. Uh, 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 I'm always picking up the uh, scrubby holders. If you ever see these and you're like, what in the heck is that? It's to put your scrubby in there. Um, this was only $1.50, so I picked it up. I think I have, uh, I had a flamingo one and it sold in my booth. I think I have a pumpkin and like three other things, but they always sell very quickly. So he'll go in my booth for eight to 10 and he will easily sell. Um, I picked up some bags, some of these, let me do the craft kits first. Craft kits don't do so well for me, but I still pick them up. I'm probably going to end up having a sale at some point in my eBay store, so keep an eye on that. This is Monarch Horizon, always chasing rainbows, counted cross stitch. Uh, and here's what it looks like, it's got the balloons. And then uh, it's got, uh, let's see, it's got the thread and the uh, pattern. 
So yeah. So counted cross stitch comes on with this plain fabric. It is not stamped where you see what you're supposed to stitch. This one you have to literally count, counted cross stitch. But for $2.50 I thought that was a good price. Um, some of these kits, if they're older, can do really well. Older Christmas kits do really, really well. So it is worth looking up if you come across them. So these are just smaller kits. Uh, these two are by Jiffy, Counted Cross Stitch. Um, this one says a friend is both a treasure and a comfort. The little quilt. Counted Cross Stitch. And then this one, it, it talks about marriage. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on, so we're not going to do it. Good Shepherd. This is a newer one. This one has the frame with it. And it says, take time to hear the music with a teddy bear. So this is probably a more vintage piece. And then Jiffy Stitchery. These are pretty old. You can tell by the green. Um, I have sold these before. This is, uh, 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 it's a stitchery kit. So it's stamped on there and it has the uh, yarn. Um, there are two lasting gifts we can give our children. One is roots, the other wings. Isn't that nice? Still true. So all of those were $2.69 each. So basically I paid like $7 for all of them. Something like that. Uh, 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 what else? Um, I got this was in a bag for a dollar and I thought he was so cute and I don't why'd they put him in a bag he's a bonnie but look at him isn't he adorable look at him being all cutesy so I thought that was adorable you know you don't you see a lot of something and then you see something unique like that and you're like yeah I'll pick it up um I got this bag it was $4.49 so I paid $2.25 so it had the Easter eggs in it, which I I think they're, ooh, is there something in them? Now I gotta look. It had something else in it, it was what I originally wanted. What is that? Oh, it's got like a little bear in it. Well, that's pretty darn cute. Huh, maybe I will put those in my, my grab bags. Look, and then there's a little bunny in there. How cute. Better for your teeth than the candy, huh? Well, I didn't realize there was things in them. Oh, there's another bunny. That's adorable. So, yeah, I guess I'll keep those. So there's how many in there? Ooh. Some of them are coming open. But it had something else in it that I really saw, and I was like, I know what those are. Something I have been looking at on Timu or Temu if you decide to pronounce it, is uh, wind-up toys. I thought that would be a good addition to have at my antique mall. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to look into that. So I get all these teddy bears. I might just tape them closed. Oh, that one's got a little brown bunny in it. That's pretty cute. You know, you can't be mad at something when it's cute. You know, you're not going to sit here and watch me do this. Because this is going to take forever. So we got, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We have 12 total. And then there was two packages. And I was like, I know what those are. And it's this little robot guy. You wind them. And look what he does. He does this. Isn't that good? Look. He's just doing that. So yeah, these are going to be for my grab bags, for my man grab bags. So again, that was in the same one as the Easter eggs. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's another bag. Of one, two, three, four, five. So ten of them. Not bad. Oh, that's so loud. So I thought that was pretty good, huh? Wouldn't those be cute in the grab bags? I remember the old the old wind-up ones. I think I had one that was a ladybug. She's so cute. So, uh, what else? Oh, I do have another bag. There's this one. So this was $3.49. So what, $1.50, $1.60, $75? Uh, it had something in particular I wanted, but this is a, a little uh, 
paper, a little Snoopy Peanuts one. And then we have natural braiding cord, not stretchy. I could always use that. We have lots of little mini bubbles. Those can go in my uh, grab bags, my mystery bags. We have Buckeye pencils, men's mystery bag. And then, of course, when I saw this, I was like, oh, oh, it doesn't say Browns. It says, does it say Browns or Broncos? I can't tell. Oh, no, it's Browns. I was going to say, I thought it was Browns. So these will go uh, into my men's grab bags, ladies' grab bag, and then maybe a ladies', I don't know. But I thought that was a pretty good deal. Okay, is that it? Except for... All of these packages. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. And they all appear to be basically the same, I think. So what is it? Six, yeah. Uh, so there's six decks of cards and then a Monopoly, Monopoly deal. Yeah, they're all the same. So these were each $2.49. So let's say I got, let's see, it would be what, 10? Twelve fifty, so I paid six and a quarter for all of these. So we're just gonna open one. I looked these up. These are Axis of Weasels, <laughs> and they are playing cards, and they are sealed. So I looked them up, and they're going for about what is it, seven to eight, seven to nine dollars each. So I have one, two, three, four, five bags. So I have thirty of these decks of cards. So those will be easy to list. And then also in here, and this must be new as well because it's new in the other ones. Yeah, it's taped closed. Uh, Monopoly deal, plays in 15 minutes. So I've never played that. I only play the one that goes on for hours and everyone hates each other at the end of the night. <laughs> you can't play that with Mr. Pudgy Picker. He is extremely competitive. I mean, not in everyday life, but once you get a game going, I mean, he'll slit your throat. <laughs> he just, I don't know. He's, that's the thing is, if you ever beat somebody who's like that, you know you're really good because they're not going to just hand you the game. But we play Yahtzee. Yahtzee is our game. We play it all the time. We've probably paid, played thousands of games in our 33 years of marriage. We should have kept track of who was winning all these years. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these cards. They should do pretty good. That's nice. Nice, nice. So I guess I'll sell these too, since they're all new. But I guess that's all I got. I think I spent, what, like 60 bucks today? Oh, I got one more thing. I almost forgot. I didn't unroll it, but I saw this, and I'm actually going to sell this on Marketplace. It was $7.99, so it was $4.00. And it is this very large, uh, very large play rug for kids. Just give me a quick, like this. Ooh, back looks nice too. So, you know, you can put your cars and your little animals and stuff. So, yeah. I thought that was a good price. That's pretty big too. I mean, that's like half of it rolled out. So, yeah. I'll have to take some pictures of that. And that's going to go on Marketplace. I don't really have a place to sell it. I don't know. I don't really see a name on it or otherwise maybe I'd look it up. I don't know. Somebody might pay the shipping for it. Who knows? Oh. So I wanted to mention at the very end, this is the first video that I've done since I made the video and put it up on Saturday. And I really, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate the love and support that was shown to me in the comment section of that video. I was absolutely, absolutely blown away by the response. Uh, not only views, but thumbs up and all the encouraging comments. There was, um, I guess, several new people. If you're, hi, if you're here. <laughs> A lot of people were like, oh, this is my first video. Hi. And I'm like, this isn't usually what my channel is. It's not drama. It's not complaining. It, we, are, we try to be as positive as possible over here. We try and show you good things to sell or to resell, and uh, I know some of you don't resell, you just, for some odd reason, you weirdo, you like watching me. But I tell you, I just, I read those comments and I was, 
uh, Mr. Pudgy Picker was reading them too, and he's like, wow. And he's like, see, see how what people feel about you? It was it was the right dose of medicine at the right time. And I, I cannot thank you guys enough for uh, being so kind. Um, it was a tough decision, but I honestly... I'm, I still feel really good about it. Like it was not good about it, but it was it was the right thing to do, and uh, that's something I could scratch off my bucket list that I started and ran for some amount of time. A very successful Facebook page, and uh, will I do one in the future? Probably not. Might, but either way, it's. Uh, I'm really glad that I did it. I hope that if you were there or are still there, you're getting good information that you need to help run your business successfully. If you choose to stay in the group, absolutely no problem. I'm not like everybody should leave. No, if, if you find value in it, and even if you don't comment, you just go on there and read through the post and it inspires you to try new things in your booth, then my mission that I set out to do is accomplished. Um... I don't know what else to say, but I do thank you guys so very much. Um, if you can, share this video, like it, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification, and uh, you'll get notified when I put up new material. I have been making a push recently to ask people to please, please share my video. Um, you can share it on any of your social media or Facebook, and uh, get the word out there. If you think there's anybody who who is very lonely and wants to listen to me yammer on, then please share my video with them. You know, I want to help grow my channel and, you know, earn money, you know, even if it's a little bit from YouTube to help me to continue to create uh, new content for you and getting good stuff for you. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.